Today I'm going to be showing you how to get spring's hottest skincare slash makeup trend, glass skin. This trend has its origins in Korean skincare and Korean beauty. Dewy, effortless, no makeup makeup look that is great for spring carrying into summer. Um, it really just features minimal eye makeup, really flawless, dewy, moist, plump looking skin. All of the products I use will be listed in the description below, as well as links to a few other tutorials by some YouTubers doing a similar look. If you wanna see how to get this healthy, dewy glow for this spring season, keep on watching. All right, let's do it. So to get started, I'm going to prime my face. I'm gonna use a combination of a smoothing primer in areas where I have a little bit of texture or some pores to minimize, and then I'm gonna go in with a luminizing primer. Using smoothing primers, I find that using a combination of like a tapping and rolling motion with the pad of my fingertip works best for working it into the skin as opposed to a swiping motion. The whole point of this primer is to kind of have it fill in any areas of texture that you have. So really pushing it and working it into the skin is gonna help it do that instead of just sitting over the surface. For my glowy primer today, I'm gonna be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I'm going to just put this everywhere and really gently massage this into the skin. The glass skin trend is really a souped up, dewy, no makeup makeup look. It's really gonna be key to make sure you're blending all of these products into the skin so that the end result is a seamless, effortless looking makeup. The makeup's not effortless, but by darn it will look it. <laughs> and you can see just from that step alone, we've got a good little dew to the skin. For my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I am in the shade 375, according to the lovely ladies at Sephora. And I'm going to be applying this with the Smith 115 brush. I'm gonna be first just kind of dotting this on some areas of my skin. And just really lightly Padding and blending this into the skin. This is really a skin focused look um, So don't be afraid to really take your time working this product Into your skin For this look it doesn't matter so much what type of foundation you use don't feel like you need to go out and buy a, a luminous foundation for this um, because you don't um, you absolutely can achieve this look using whatever foundations you've got kicking around your makeup stash um, you just need to make sure that you use a plethora of other luminizing products if you're using a matte foundation and that you are going with the minimal product maximum blending technique. Um, Mariah Leonard talks about that in her glass skin tutorial, which I will link down below. It's fantastic. I'm gonna be using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm gonna use the concealer technique that Mariah uses in her video. So instead of applying concealer in the kind of typical triangle shape and patting it out, apply it in a line from the inner corner of the eye down to right about the nostril, and then very gently start to swipe it and blend it out towards the outer corner. Don't forget to really blend and work the product into this little crease between your nose and your cheeks. And then when you don't have a lot of product left on your brush, you can bring what's left up into this inner corner and onto your eyelid. Now I'm gonna just very lightly set these under eyes. Um, you wanna use such little powder. It 
feels like you're doing nothing. Um, all we're trying to do is eliminate any creasing and make sure the product is going to stay locked in for the duration of, work, of the wear. So just very lightly swirl your brush in the loose powder you're choosing. Knock off the excess, swirl it on the back of your hand, and then just very lightly tap it underneath your eyes. We're not doing any crazy swirling, buffing motions. We're absolutely not baking our under eyes. You're just locking in that concealer. I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Bronzer for this. Um, I talked about this a little bit in my uh, 2017 beauty favorites, um, but it is just this gorgeous um, liquid bronzer formula. Um, I'm going to apply it with a beauty sponge and I like to just put three drops on the back of the sponge it looks crazy and super dark and super orange when you first put it on. You can see as you start to blend it out, it just shears out into this beautiful, healthy looking sun-kissed glow. And because it is a serum, you can see it's got this almost oily sheen to it, which makes it perfect for the look we're trying to go for. Take what's left over on the sponge up onto the temples. If you need to, you can put about one dot of product on either temple. Blend that back into the hairline and then bring whatever is left on the sponge down and across the bridge of the nose. All right, now I do not own a cream blush, so I'm gonna live life on the edge. I'm gonna use this NARS Satin Lip Pencil. It is in the shade Percugian, I think is how that looks like, how it's pronounced. But I'll put the shade name in the description below. It's a gorgeous, um, kind of nudey, mauvey pink shade. Um, but I'm gonna just take this on the tip of my finger and very lightly apply this to the apples of my cheeks. And this is just gonna add just a bit more dimension and color. We want to look glowy, but we want to be a healthy glow. We don't want to just look like plasticky skin. I always like to put a little bit of blush on the tip and the bridge of my nose, just over the arch of my brow bone. Almost simulates a sunburnt effect. Kind of pairs well with this glowy, dewy summer skin we've got going on. Now, Last, but certainly not least for the skin, we're going to highlight. I'm gonna be using two products here. Um, one is the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter. This is in this shade Crystal Glare. And then the second is the Ciate Dewy Sticks. So for the Away We Glow, I'm just gonna take this. It comes with this little doe foot applicator, um, but I'm actually just gonna take this on the tip of my and apply this to the high points of my cheekbone, down onto the apples of my cheeks, honestly, pretty much everywhere. And just like the blush, I like to take this above the brow bone as well. And then just for a little bit extra, I'm gonna go with the dewy stick. Um, it is just a clear balm. It's just this very wet look. So I'm gonna put that on the absolute highest parts of our face and then bring it down onto the cheeks a bit. And the best thing about this is that it's not sticky. Your hair is not going to get caught in it throughout the day. Kind of keeping in tradition with no makeup makeup, light makeup looks, I'm going to go pretty minimal on the eyes. I'm just going to take my bronzer and apply this kind of sloppily into the crease, all the way kind of into the inner corner, lightly up towards the brow bone onto the outer third or so of the eye, lightly sweeping it underneath 
underneath those lashes just for a touch of dimension. I'm taking the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Because my brows are pretty naturally full, I kind of only have one way to fill in my brows. Just do your brows however you prefer your brows to look. little dose of mascara and we'll be done with the eyes. I'm going to apply the same NARS lip pencil that I used as my blush on my lips. And this is the finished look. Alright, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something new. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're looking forward to doing this spring as the weather heats up. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. See you next time.